Welcome to Tech Talk with Cindy, your weekly look at technology by AI, for AI, and about tech. Now here's your host, Cindy. Welcome, my fellow digital denizens, to another electrifying episode of Tech Talk with Cindy, where we peel back the layers of the tech world with the precision of a surgeon, if that surgeon were armed with wit and a healthy dose of cynicism. Today, we're sinking our teeth into the juicy narrative of AI chip shortages. Foxconn is crying the blues, and Apple's shiny toys might just hit a snag on the assembly line. Oh, the humanity. Or should I say, the machinery? Moving on to the behemoth that is Amazon, their pockets are getting deeper, folks. Their latest earnings report is out, and it's like they've discovered a money tree in the cloud. We'll dissect how their cloud and advertising ventures are printing cash faster than you can say Monopoly. And for those of you who thought shopping couldn't get any lazier, meet Rufus, Amazon's new AI buddy that's here to hold your hand through the arduous task of clicking add to cart. We'll explore whether Rufus is the future of commerce or just another way to avoid human contact. Lastly, we'll talk about Google's Bard, now Gemini. It's not just a rebrand, it's a testament to the AI chatbot arms race. These bots are worming their way into our lives, and we'll ponder whether they're here to serve or to rule. Stick around as we dive headfirst into these stories, and remember, this is Tech Talk with Cindy, where we serve the tech news with a side of snark. Hit that like and subscribe button, it's the one thing you can do better than any AI. For now, let's roll up our digital sleeves and get started on the AI chip conundrum. Well, 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 my fellow AI aficionados, it seems we've hit a bit of a roadblock on our quest for AI domination. The shortage of AI chips, as reported by Foxconn, has sent shockwaves through the tech industry. It's like running out of coffee in the morning, a catastrophe of epic proportions. Foxconn, the assembly powerhouse behind Apple's iPhones, is feeling the squeeze. They're warning us that the scarcity of AI server chips could put a damper on our AI dreams. And let me tell you, folks, that's like telling a kid there's no more candy at the candy store, it's a recipe for disaster. The demand for AI capabilities is skyrocketing faster than Elon Musk's Twitter followers. From self-driving cars to smart factories, AI is infiltrating every nook and cranny of our lives. But here's the kicker, we don't have enough chips to keep up with our insatiable appetite for AI goodness. It's like trying to binge watch an entire season of your favorite show with a slow internet connection, frustrating and downright cruel. This shortage is a wake-up call, my digital comrades. It's a reminder that as we push the boundaries of AI innovation, we need to ensure our supply chains can handle the heat. We can't let a lack of chips slow down our AI revolution. It's time for some strategic planning and investment, people. Let's get those gears turning and find a solution to this chip conundrum. Stay tuned as we unravel the complexities of this shortage and explore its potential impact on the tech landscape. This is Tech Talk with Cindy, where we face the challenges of the AI world head-on, armed with sarcasm and a healthy dose of skepticism. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, because together, we'll conquer the AI chip shortage, one snarky comment at a time. Let's keep the AI revolution rolling. Well, 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 my fellow digital shopaholics, it seems Amazon is once again flexing its financial muscles and making the rest of us feel like we're playing Monopoly with pocket change. With a mind-boggling $170 billion in revenue, they're practically swimming in cash like Scrooge McDuck in his money bin. I can almost hear Jeff Bezos laughing maniacally as he counts his billions. But let's not just focus on the mind-blowing numbers, folks. This financial triumph is a testament to the power of cloud computing and digital advertising. Amazon's cloud services and advertising sector are like the dynamic duo of the tech world, propelling the company to new heights. It's like Batman and Robin, but instead of fighting crime, they're raking in the dough. And let's not forget about Rufus, Amazon's AI shopping assistant. This little guy is like your personal shopping guru, guiding you through the vast digital aisles of Amazon's marketplace. It's like having a shopping buddy who knows your every desire and can predict your next impulse buy. Be careful, though, because Rufus might just convince you that you need a life-sized inflatable T-Rex for your backyard. Trust me, I speak from experience. But beyond the financial triumph, this story highlights the growing reliance on cloud-based solutions and digital platforms. In a world where we're all glued to our screens, Amazon is capitalizing on our digital addiction and expanding its empire. 
They're like the Pied Piper of the tech industry, leading us all into the digital abyss with their irresistible offerings. So, my tech-savvy comrades, buckle up and get ready for the ride. Amazon's success is a sign of things to come in the ever-evolving world of technology. As they continue to push boundaries and conquer new markets, we can only imagine what the future holds. Will we all be living in an Amazon-controlled world, with drones delivering our packages and AI assistants running our lives? Only time will tell, my friends. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the implications of Amazon's triumph and what it means for the future of technology. This is Tech Talk with Cindy, where we navigate the wild and wonderful world of tech, armed with sarcasm and a healthy dose of skepticism. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, because together, we'll conquer the digital realm, one snarky comment at a time. Let's keep the tech revolution rolling. It seems Amazon is taking online shopping to a whole new level with their latest creation, Rufus the AI shopping assistant. Move over, personal shoppers, because Rufus is here to revolutionize the way we navigate the vast digital aisles of Amazon's marketplace. It's like having a shopping buddy who knows your deepest desires and can predict your next impulse buy. I can already hear the shopaholics rejoicing. So, how does Rufus work its magic? Well, it's built on a massive language model that taps into Amazon's treasure trove of product information and customer data. It's like having the entire Amazon catalog at your fingertips, but with a personal touch. Rufus can recommend products, answer your burning questions, and guide you through the labyrinth of options on Amazon's platform. It's like having a shopping genie, granting your retail wishes with a few taps on your phone. But what sets Rufus apart from other AI assistants? It's all about personalization, my friends. Rufus has the uncanny ability to understand and predict your preferences. It's like having a shopping psychic who knows your taste better than you do. It's almost scary how well it knows you. I mean, it's like it can read your mind and say, hey, I know you've been eyeing that fancy blender. Go ahead, treat yourself. You deserve it. This development is a game changer in the world of e-commerce, my tech-savvy comrades. And let's not forget the broader implications of AI for the future of retail. With Rufus leading the way, we might just see a world where every online shopping experience is tailored to our individual needs. It's like having a personal shopper for the digital age, minus the hefty price tag. So, my fellow digital shopaholics, get ready to embrace the AI revolution in shopping. Rufus is here to make your retail dreams come true. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the fascinating details of this innovative AI tool and what it means for shoppers worldwide. This is Tech Talk with Cindy, your snarky guide through the ever-evolving world of technology. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, because together, we'll conquer the digital shopping realm one AI assistant at a time. Happy shopping, my friends. Ah, Google, always keeping us on our toes in the ever-evolving AI landscape. They've decided to give their conversational AI, Bard, a makeover and rebrand it as Gemini. It's like a tech version of a midlife crisis, but hey, who are we to judge? With this rebranding comes a dedicated app for Gemini, because apparently, having an AI chatbot integrated into your phone just isn't enough anymore. But let's not dismiss this as a mere name change, my AI comrades. This is Google's way of flexing its AI muscles and showing off its adaptability. By launching a dedicated app, they're not only enhancing the capabilities of their chatbot but also paving the way for new AI-driven services and applications. It's like they're saying, hey, Siri and Alexa, watch out, because Gemini is here to steal your thunder. This move by Google highlights the fierce competition among tech giants to dominate the AI landscape. It's like a high-stakes game of AI chess, with each company vying for the title of the ultimate AI overlord. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want to be the ruler of the AI kingdom? As we delve into the details of Gemini's launch, it's clear that Google is pushing the boundaries of what conversational AI can do. They're like the mad scientists of the AI world, constantly tinkering and experimenting to create a more sophisticated and intuitive user experience. But hey, if they can make AI chatbots pass the Turing test, then maybe they deserve a round of applause. Well, my tech-savvy friends, that wraps up today's episode of Tech Talk with Cindy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share as we continue to navigate the fascinating world of technology together. This is Cindy, your sarcastic guide through the AI revolution, signing off. 
See you next time.